In this video, we are going to talk about APA electronic references, specifically journal articles that need the DOI. A DOI is a digital object identifier, and you need it for every um, journal article that you can find a DOI for. If you're doing database searches, there's a good chance that many of those articles you're finding have a digital object identifier. The reason DOIs came along is um, the pro part of the problem with web references is the URLs change. How do you find them? It moved somewhere else. And so these new APA reference uh, rules are, are trying to deal with that problem. So the DOI is basically a way to just type in that long reference and boom, you get the article. It doesn't matter where it is on the internet or if it moved from one place to another. So let me just show you wh what that works like. I'm going to go to EndNote and let me look at one of my articles here that has a DOI in it and I'm just going to copy this DOI and I'm going to go to Google in my web browser and I'm going to paste and I'm going to search and look at this the article comes straight up there's the site that it's using and it has a link to it. So DOIs let you find that resource very quickly and the point of listing your references is that so someone art reading your article or dissertation can find those references again. So you want to add those DOIs whenever you can find them. Alright, so how are we going to add them? The first thing you want to do is go to EndNote and sort because it's a lot easier to pay attention to one kind of reference and fix it all at once. So when you're in EndNote, you'll notice you have these headings across the top and you can actually sort by them. Sometimes I use sorting to see which ones need more work. See this one here, it's, got, it's the year and it's missing the year so I've got to come back and fix those. But over here we have reference type and if you sort by reference type you can get all the books together, all the conference papers together, all the electronic articles together, all the journal articles together. So this is really critical to pay attention to and you may end up changing some of these from a journal article to uh, an electronic article as you go along. If you find the DOI then it needs to be electronic so that it has it in it. There's an example, another example. Alright, so how do you find a DOI? That's really the big question. Now that you have all the ones you need to do in order that you can work through in EndNote, there's a website called crossref.org and it lets you search one reference or multiple references. And so let me just take one of these that I know already has a DOI and I'm going to copy the title so that I can go look it up. All right, so the cross-reference website, back to my web browser, crossref.org. When you come here, there's a lot of information for a lot of different kinds of people, and you are a researcher, so you want to click on For Researchers and scroll down a little bit to this link here, Free DOI Lookup. And that web address, if you want to go directly to it, is crossref.org slash guest query free lookup and you can put in all this kind of information or I just want to do it really easy I'm gonna just paste my title article title in here and I'm gonna search alright it's gonna wait a little while and then when it comes up you'll wanna scroll down and see what it came up with and notice here it lists what it searched what it found here's the author this way you can make sure it's really the article you're talking about and here's the DOI I need right here. So I would copy this. Let me just copy it. Whoops, let me just show you that a little better. Copy. I'm right clicking and copying. You can do Control C too if you like that better. And now I want to go back to EndNote. And let's say I didn't have this in here. I would double click on the reference. This is how you edit references. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says DOI. Now I have this one already in here, but let's say I didn't, then I would just paste it. And now I can save. I like to do Control S and then Control W and then it goes back to my list and there's my DOI. 
You may also need to um, change the reference type. Let me just show you that too. If you double click on any of these, you need to change the reference type. Sometimes it's not using the right one. So you could have electronic article or you may be using the journal article and just experiment with those and see which one you need to be using. But you definitely want to get that DOI in there. All right, and I'm just going to exit out of here. Okay, so that's how to get one. Now you can see if you have a lot of journal articles, that's going to be pretty painful. So let's do them multiples at the same time. I'm going to go back to crossref.org and on this same page that I searched, right below it has this simple text query. And there's another way you can get to this. In fact, after doing one, you might decide I'm just going to do these a whole bunch at once. So let me just go back to show you the other place you can get this on the site. If you start at crossref.org and you go down on the left hand side, you can go to simple text query and this goes to this wonderful little box where you just paste in your references. Alright, so now here's the beauty of also having all of your references in EndNote. Let's say um, we have all of these and I want to check I'm going to scroll over. This is hard to show you because my screen's so small. <laughs> and I've made it small so it's easier for you to see. Okay. So let's say I want to check all of these. If I highlight them all in EndNote and then I go to Edit, Copy Formatted, now I can go back to my crossref.org. I'm going back to the website and back to this little box and I can paste these in here. And look at this, all the references are in here. But it, this uh, site needs to have one ref a line in between each one. So I just need to put an enter in between each one and then I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to choose submit. And it's going to think about it for a while. And once it's done thinking it will come up to this list and it lists each one. Notice that this one doesn't have a DOI, that one doesn't have a DOI, this one does, this one does that one doesn't. So the ones that do have DOIs you can, and I have actually, <laughs> these are the same one because I've been showing you so some of my references are in my EndNotes now more than one time. But let me copy this and I'm going to go back to EndNote and that was the Sifuantes one that we looked at before. I'm going to double click on it I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to paste in the DOI and actually this shouldn't have, whoops I clicked on it so it opened my browser. This should not have this stuff at the beginning. I want to get rid of that and have just the number. Generally from what I've seen they all seem to start with a 10 so far anyways. Then I'm going to do Control S to save, Control W to close and there's my reference, but it's not showing the DOI. Oh yes, okay, so here's the problem with this one. It's listed as a journal article. I need to make it an electronic article. I'm going to save, close, and now my reference. It still isn't right. It's good that this is happening so you can see what, what you have to do to fix it. This one also got the URL. You don't want it in the URL, so I'm going to cut this out of here, paste it in here, save, close, and there we go, now it's right. Now I have all the regular journal article information and immediately afterwards it has DOI with the number. So that is how to collect your DOIs and do them multiples at a time. If for some reason Crossref doesn't find it, I found some of them, um, it, I could find them by searching the article in, in uh, Google. In Forma World, for example, it seems like sometimes Crossref didn't find those because they're international journals. So sometimes when you're Googling or even as you're searching, you'll see the DOI. And if you see a DOI for a journal article you're using, make sure you get it into EndNote.